Hi, welcome to the McGuffey Readers Online Tutor. Today's lesson is from the McGuffey's first eclectic reader, the revised edition, and we will be reading prose today. Prose, lesson 51. Look at Fido! Lesson 51. Look at Fido! Are you ready? Here we go. Ellen! Do look at Fido. He sits up in a chair with my hat on. He looks like a boy, but it is only Fido. Now see him shake hands. Give me your paw, Fido. How do you do, sir? Will you take dinner with us, Fido? Speak! Fido says, Bow wow! which means, thank you, I will. Isn't Fido a good dog, Ellen? He is always so polite. When school is out, I will try to teach him some other tricks. Let's read this lesson one more time, and I hope that you read it along with me. I'm going to put up the text now. Here we go. Ellen, do look at Fido. He sits up in a chair with my hat on. He looks like a little boy, but it is only Fido. Now see him shake hands. Give me your paw, Fido. How do you do, sir? Will you take dinner with us, Fido? Speak. Fido says, Bow wow, which means, thank you, I will. Isn't Fido a good dog, Ellen? He is always so polite. When school is out, I will try to teach him some other tricks. Let's look at the vocabulary words that go along with this lesson today. The new ones. Here we go. We have the word paw. And we have the words polite, means, isn't, speak, sir, shake, fido, tricks, teach, dinner, Ellen. Bow wow! Let's look at the one syllable words in this list. Let's clap through them. Paw means speak, sir, shake, tricks, teach. Let's read through them one more time. Paw means speak, sir, shake, tricks, teach. Let's look at the two syllable words in this list that we have today. We have let's clap through them. Polite isn't Fido dinner Ellen Bow Wow. Let's read through one more time without clapping. Polite isn't Fido dinner Ellen Bow Wow. Notice that Fido and Ellen are capitalized because they are names, proper nouns. And we have a contraction, isn't. Do you see it? Isn't. Let's look how a contraction is made. It is really two words, is not. And we take the O out and squeeze the letters together to make one word. But where the O was, we put an apostrophe, and that becomes the word isn't. Now let's look at our long vocal sounds for today. We have a long vocal A sound, like an aw, aw in the word paw, paw. And we have the long vocal A sound A in shake, 
shake. We also have a long E sound in a few words, means. And notice, speak, these long E sounds come from an EA combination, teach, teach. We also have a long I in the word polite, polite. And also in the word Fido, Fido which ends in a long O. Let's look at our short vocal uh, sounds for today. And those are also vowels. We have a short E sound as an end in the word Ellen. Ellen. And we have the short I sound I, in the word isn't. That's our contraction for today. And also in tricks. And also in the word dinner. Dinner. And we have one diphthong today, but there's two of the same diphthongs in one word. And that's the OW diphthong in the word bow wow. Each syllable has that O-W, ow sound, bow wow. Let's look at our substitutes for today. Remember that a substitute is when a letter takes the place of a sound of another letter, takes the place of a sound of another letter. We have the I as the long E sound in er in the word sir. We also have the consonant S as the consonant Z sound at the end of the word means. And we also have the S as Z in isn't. Isn't. I want to point out that when the S makes the sound as Z, Z it changes it from an aspirate to a subvocal. Remember an aspirate creates a release of breath on your hand if you put your hand up to your mouth. Like the F in Fido, Fido. And hold up your hand and say paw. The P in paw is an aspirate. And the P and the T in polite, polite. And the T in isn't, isn't. And the S P and K in speak, speak. The S in sir, do you feel the puff of breath? It's very slight with the S, sir. And the SH and the K in shake, shake. We also have the T, the CK and the S in tricks. And the T and the CH in teach. Now compare that with a subvocal. A subvocal is mouth and not spoken. So let's look at our subvocals today, and you'll see what I'm talking about um, with the S as Z. Look at the W in paw, paw. That's a subvocal sound. And also the L in polite, polite. And then the M, the N, and the S is Z in means. The S is Z and the N in isn't. The R is a subvocal in sir. The D in Fido is a subvocal, Fido. The D, the N, and the R are dinner. And L and N in Ellen. Also the B and the W in Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Let's read this lesson one more time and keep in mind the full stop or the period at the end of the spoken language, which is the end of a sentence, the comma, the semicolon, the exclamation mark, the question mark, and the question.
quotation mark. Are you ready? Here we go. Ellen, do look at Fido. He sits up in a chair with my hat on. He looks like a little boy, but it is only Fido. Now see him shake hands. Give me your paw, Fido. How do you do, sir? Will you take dinner with us, Fido? Speak! Fido says, Bow wow! Which means, Thank you, I will. Isn't Fido a good dog, Ellen? He is always so polite. When school is out, I will try to teach him some other tricks. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for visiting, and I hope that you go to the mcguffyreaders.blogspot.com for more lessons and worksheets. And I hope you visit me again here on YouTube. Bye-bye.